is weird, odd, strange, or just plain bizarre is really your cup of tea. Then, the Golden State Media Concepts Weird News Podcast will give you that fix. Can't believe it? Well, listen for yourself as Jordan and Keith delivers the strangest news you definitely won't find on CNN or Fox. It's the Golden State Media Concepts Weird News Podcast. Celebrating successfully doing a yoga pose. It's about time, Keith. It's the <laughs> oh, Golden whatever, State dude. Media Concepts <laughs> Weird News Podcast uh, with Jordan and uh, Keith. Catherine. The yoga man. Keitherin. No, no. No? Did you say Captain Keith? Yes, that's true. Captain Catherine. Keith. Captain Keith, yes. I don't know how you got that Captain nickname. Keith? Yes. <laughs> I do. So, oh yeah, man. Weird News is upon us again. Episode 22. All right, yeah, oh, yeah, that makes sense. I'm oh, not yeah. going to argue with you about that one. That's a good thing. Yeah, no, I, I think it, I think you're right. It is episode 22. Yeah, everything I'm looking at right now tells me. Yeah, this is true. This so, is true. This is. Uh, we've got a couple things in this episode we can do. <laughs> you um, kill me when you, when you state the obvious. Uh, yeah, we do. <laughs> the, there are several articles we can talk about right now. Oh, do you? I'm going to do with you. So yes, the first one. Angry baboon <laughs> throws his poo at a family, and with with just great accuracy, <laughs> with great accuracy. Wait before we, before we start on that, can I ask you? Has your day been good? Yes, it's been great. All right, great. Let's carry on. Uh, okay, <laughs> forgot we we didn't get the niceties out the way. First. We, we jumped right into it. Well, you know this is true. How, how's your day been? Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, it's actually <laughs> it's been pretty good. You know, I, I start off with like a shaky stomach, but as time's going on, I'm starting to just feel the energy. Ginger ale and crackers, and there's always Pepto Bismol, bro. Ginger ale and, and crackers. Tums. Yep. There's a host of different things you can do for that stomach, bro. And I did it. I'm fine now. Like All right, I think right I'm on. better than ever. Right on. I'm a hundred times better. I'm sorry. There's a gr- there's a baboon, and he's he's throwing poop at people. Yes. This is yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> The video is awesome. I wish I wish I could show you guys this video. I mean, I've never wanted to show our audience a video so much as I do this one. But yeah, this is a priceless reaction. Oh, like, it's beautiful. I read <laughs> the article. I didn't see the video until today, and oh, it's yeah. just so. Yeah, exactly. So this happened at Tiger World in Rockwell, North Carolina. So a family went there and they saw a baboon and the baboon in Tiger World. That's like a zoo, right? That's, yeah, okay. that's what I'm assuming. I mean, when we saw the video, it looks like it's a zoo. So. Yeah, no, it's Tiger World. It'd be zoo. an interesting theme park, though. I know, right? Yeah. Definitely. So you know, let, let it be known, people, that you know animals have bad days too. Animals have that, you know, you know, leave me alone. You know, the humans aren't the only ones who don't want the paparazzi around. <laughs> you know, or people, you know, gawking and staring at them. And apparently this baboon showed and proved that. So. I have a different theory about why things went so sour, but I finish the story. Like, okay. All right. Then, then I'll jump in with, <laughs> All I right. think it went like this. Okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. So, yeah. So, you know, this family, this, these two little girls who come up to the, the fence you know, and the fence is, you know, a few feet away from the baboon. So, and the baboon's in the corner, just, I mean, he sees them and he gives them like this look, like, why are you even here? And then he even motions his mouth, like, go away. You know, yeah. if the baboon can be talking, that he, when he opens up his mouth, that's what, that's the vibe he's getting. And then they still stand there and the one's like, oh, we'll feed you. You know, she says something like that to him. And then he starts, he gets so angry, he starts hitting at the fence. Yeah. And they still just, Standing there looking at him like, oh, isn't this funny and cute? Baboon's like, all right, that's it. So he goes down to his little hole, you know, behind him, and he takes out his poop. And he his start- little hole behind him. Can we clarify on what that is? Just- oh, excuse me, his poop hole. Apparently, oh, his. You're pit. talking like his a- poop pit. There's okay. There's he not has like a-, a poop pit. Okay. Yeah. You know, because he was sitting, he was sitting in the corner of the fence, and I guess behind him down. A little We're not below, talking about his butthole, right? I'm talking about the poop pit. No, no I'm not talking about his butt. Because no one really says poop pit and think like well, they're like, oh, a poop pit. Well, that's what that's the 
the best way for me to describe it since it's not his butthole. No, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> you, you said poop I didn't poop even hole. want to say butthole. I, you, <laughs> I didn't want to say it either. But you, you said, started it, dude. <laughs> I, I, felt, I felt like we should have clarified because at one point you said poop hole, and I feel like that's something that – And then that's where I went to poop pit to be more specific. Poop pit works better. So thank you for that. So, All right. Okay, so, can yeah. get back to it? Let's get back to it just, just right. so people know what we're really right, talking so about. So his poop – Pit, uh-huh. admits, which is a pit where he he created where he can leave his poop, like when cats had litter box. Yeah, like a latrine, okay. like a latrine. So yeah. his own version of litter box, baboon style. Okay, that's that's the best way I can say it. Sounds right? good. Yeah, you know. So he baboon goes litter box. So he turns around, he goes into his little poop pit, and he gets he he takes his his poo, and he starts f- flinging it, you know, th- through the fence, and it hits the girls. Oh, uh, and you see the one girl has a little bit of it on her face. It's, it's <laughs> and she's so mortified. Gross. Yeah. She just has this look like she never <laughs> wants to see an, an animal again. Like you can see all of the childlike joy of going to a zoo. <laughs> just being drained like, just away. leave her eyes and she's like, I hate animals, I hate everything associated with <laughs> And one of the adults just starts coughing and gagging. So, because, you know, no one thought they were going to be pooing down their kid's face. So, it understandably. Did, sure, it smelled awful. Oh, yeah. yeah, man. But it was priceless. You got to see. Yeah. You guys can go look at that video later if you got time. It was, yeah, it was a trip. I mean, this 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 baboon had an attitude. He, was, he wasn't having it. He's like, go away. So, yeah, I guess he was having a bad day. He did not want to be bothered. You think of monkeys and baboons, and they usually look all nice and maybe even smile. Or they don't frown, but this one, he, yeah, yeah, he was on some grouch stuff. He wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't having it. <laughs> but go ahead. What was your take on the whole situation? I don't think, oh, I'm, I'm sure he was already, like, in an upset mood. Like, judging by the video, he, he, was, he wasn't happy. Yeah, because he but- was over there. At a certain at point, pants. when he really gets mad and he ends up throwing the poop, one of the little girls is making a lot of random hand gestures, and it just like they're not hand gestures like that you can see. They're uh-huh. not any they, you know they're not like hand gestures that mean anything. They look like just random like gesturing hands. You know, you think she was mocking him? I, I just I feel like maybe in like a baboon language, those hand gestures came off as something bad because that's when he really seemed to lose his. <laughs> He lost it, didn't he? Yeah, he. I mean, he really lost it. I was cracking up. I was he like, he wow, more than this, lost it. He this threw baboon it. Was, yeah, yeah he, he was. He was heated. He was mad. I mean, homeboy was mad. I was cracking up. I mean, the first time he started punching at the fence, he was trying to warn him, and then he's like, "All right, Ew. okay." <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't I didn't realize that, that you know that the one girl was had hand gestures. I, I didn't see that part. In the video. Yeah, no, she's just gesturing, and that's when he lost it. I'm wondering maybe, maybe if there's right, like a man. baboon hand gesture, like yeah. don't ever do that to a baboon. It's yeah. like the middle finger. Yeah, I may, hey, I'm sure it exists in all types of languages. It's probably universal. I hear you. Yeah, yeah, but needless yeah. to say, she won't be going to see him again. <laughs> no, is. <laughs> Probably not. No, I, I don't think she wants to see any. I don't even think she wants a dog at that point. When you saw the poo on her face, I was like, wow. And then for them to show it, you know, like on Instagram. The whole like, scene really? looked like a, like a kid's movie, like a cartoon. <laughs> like you know? a bad kid's movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy, man. But yeah, I had to share that, so I'm glad that we shared that story. And thank you for the take on it, because... That makes a lot of sense too, actually, because he was he was he was angry. <laughs> I'd actually prefer it like that. I'd prefer that he would, you know. Well, I still like to take that he didn't want to be bothered because he was just looking like, why are y'all? He had that look like, why are that? Why in the heck are you here? <laughs> like, yeah. leave me alone. He's like, can a baboon just chill in peace? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, I hear you. So, what else is on deck, sir? Well, we can talk about this woman in Austria who. What about is- her? scratched over a thousand cars she's keyed a thousand cars and they can't really hold her legally accountable what? she almost has, why she, she has a signature that she kind of keys on a zigzag a certain kind of zigzag and she's 25 years old and they say that they can't hold her legally accountable for actions well, why due to her that? mental health well, well so they're saying that she's she has something wrong with her psychologically uh, yeah, no. She, she, due to her mental health, they can't do anything about it. So if they she can't unless uh, she does a crime that's worth a year in jail. Okay, so okay, so hold on. Let me let me make sure I'm understanding what you're telling me. Okay, okay, okay. So she's scratching like what you said. What a, a, over a hundred cars? How many cars? A thousand cars. So she scratched a thousand cars. Half of the cars in Austria have been scratched by her. And they know she has mental health issues. Yeah. So why isn't she getting treatment? Well, they just um, why isn't she in a mental health home? 
they're not. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really sure what why they're not putting her in any way. I mean, you but understand why I'm asking that question, right? I understand. The the thing is that they're saying is that it's a crime that's you know it's not good, but it's not bad enough to take it's account. Vandalism. She has to do something that's worth a year's worth of jail in order to like. Okay, but be if you know that she's it. mentally unstable, you put her in a mental health facility. Yeah, sounds like common sense, right? Maybe, yeah. I mean, Maybe, here, really? in Austria, who knows? <laughs> they only have 2,000 cars in Austria, Keith. Come on, Jordan. They got more than 2,000 cars in Austria. Well, that's the rumor I'm starting. Oh, uh, you're bad. But it doesn't make sense. Okay, it's not even about arresting her. It's about making sure she gets treatment. Because if you know she's mentally unstable and you keep her walking the streets and she's already defacing cars... She's What's like a next? more annoying Banksy, I guess. She just kind of goes around and just gives her signature zigzag all over the streets. But, you know, just the amount of cars, that's so many. I mean, it, it's its a six-year span, that, I should be, say that. Okay, but, but between that and knowing that she's mentally ill and no one's doing anything about it, that's what's disturbing, dude. That's you – know, <laughs> but okay, what's the next story? <laughs> well, no, I mean – I guess I, I'm alone in this. So that's fine. <laughs> I, I, I know what you mean, but it's – how I mean, crazy is it that they're like, oh, there's that woman again. She's keying all that car. Of it is crazy. All I of mean, it's it's kind of like she's I, got this free pass just to destroy everything. Because she's crazy, and that's not good. Yeah. I, and I, we don't even know much about her mental health. I mean, she may not be crazy. She may just be a jerk, and through whatever technicality, well, they can't arrest fined. her for it. Then you fine her for it, man. Yep, Austria man, two thousand cars, and they don't, they don't. You they got more than 2,000. You don't know how many cars they got stopped. Well, do you know how many cars Austria has? I don't know. But my, Could be 2,000. I'm claim it's 2,000 because I don't know. I haven't well, done the research. Exactly. You don't know. It so could don't e- guess. easily be 2,000 cars. You just cars. know about the 1,000 that got defaced. That's so we all. know there's at least 1,000. At one point, I remember somebody saying that's over half of the cars in Austria. So Oh, yeah. You remember. Oh, whatever. You remember somebody saying that. Yeah. One of us said that on the podcast. Uh, no. It wasn't me. Yeah, who knows? But we got to go to commercial break. So when <laughs> yeah. we come back, we're going to be giving some more weird news, including the glow in the dark cow and a knife swallower. So you guys stick around, stay tuned. Oh, yeah. It'll totally be worth your time. Me and Keith promise. This is true. Are you looking for help for your fantasy football team? Check out the GSMC Fantasy Football Podcast. Get today's best advice on who to start, who to sit, even who you should draft. From sleeper picks to red-hot lineups, they got it all covered for you. That's gsmcpodcast.com backslash fantasy-football-podcast. We'll cover traditional leagues, dynasty, PPR, even IDP leagues. When you need fantasy help, there's just one show to hit up. Don't forget to like them on Facebook and Follow them on Twitter. Visit gsmcpodcast.com for more info. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the GSMC Weird News Podcast. We just talked about a couple things, including a car scratcher. Yeah, with mental health issues, they can't get arrested because she's mentally unbalanced. But yeah, she's but not detained in a mental health institution either, so that's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unintended. So, <laughs> so, yeah. But we've got some other great stuff for you. Like in our very famous India segment. <laughs> These next two stories are going to come straight from India. If you say so. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, yeah, the Man of Steel. <laughs> Let me tell you what. Yeah, Man of Steel, yeah, India segment. Exactly. Will you stop it? <laughs> so, doctors removed 40 knives from a man's stomach. And you're like, seriously? Yeah. How did he even survive with that in his stomach? So, oh, yeah. The wait, but wait, there's more. And then he, his quote, I just enjoyed its taste and I was addicted. That's what That's what the guy said. You're just like, wow. Really? How lucky is he? I mean, so he's eaten 40 knives. He just got to, I mean, because if you like the taste of metal, do you have to swallow it? I mean, I'm, no, you're, you you're don't. playing with fire. No. So this is in northern India. You know, like I said, the doctors removed 40 folding knives from this man's stomach. It was a five-hour surgery in uh, Amritsar, Punjab. So this, this past Friday. I mean, this is... I mean, so doctors have found, like, during the CT scan, they found all this. They were like, whoa. And one doctor, Dr. Jatender Malhotra, states, quote, In my 20 years of practice, I have never seen anything like this. 
I mean, he's the he was the chief surgeon in this regard. So, I mean, and there's a picture of these knives. You got to see this. I, I'm just like, wow. So, I mean, <laughs> when the doctors asked him about this, you know, you know, he stated that this was his guilty pleasure. I don't know why I used to swallow knives. I just enjoyed his taste. I mean, and like I said before, now I'm just addicted. I mean, who has that for an addiction? <laughs> who I don't who know. does that? I mean, well, you have that show that's um, my strange addiction show, you know. So y- oh, okay. you've seen some seen weird that. things all like right. that. I don't all think right. this is on it, right? But and they I'm, spent two days trying to plan this surgery. Dude. Yeah, this is a five-hour surgery of just yeah. yanking knives out. Yeah. And the thing is, like, okay, so we were all young once. We all, at some point or another, enjoyed putting ma- knives in our mouths. I mean, I don't have to tell you, Keith. You were eighteen too at one point, but <laughs> yes, to. But to swallow those knives? Oh, he's crazy. I mean, you always took the knives out of your mouth, right? You didn't. You wouldn't swallow it whole. I never swallowed any knives. Okay. We're, and then they said that, of course, we once can be candid. Once he's healed from the surgery, <laughs> yeah, I'm being candid with you. Once he's healed from the surgery, then he's going to get psychiatric care. Uh, you think? Why don't you put him in a mental institution for observation? Yeah. <laughs> you know, if I didn't want to stick knives in my mouth before. I definitely don't <laughs> right? want to do it now. Well, because in America, that could be considered, you know, attempt of suicide, and that's you know, against the law. So you can get detained for that. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, but he was saying this is just his thing. Wow, get a new hobby, bro. Get a new hobby and a new eating disorder. Well, he promised well, he wouldn't do new, it anymore. But some of those mm-hmm. knives were so old in there that they were rusted and broken. Yeah, yeah. Oh, listen to you, rusted and broken. What? It's that I'm not. That's actually coming from the article. Like, no, no. These knives are actually like so old that they were rusted and broken up. So it's a miracle that he survived this. Because so. that makes you think: How long have you had the knives in your stomach? If that's, you know, forty over forty knives, and some of them have been there long enough to where they've aged. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, you could get infected from that. So, yeah, that's that's uh, this is pretty creepy and pretty yeah, just pretty crazy story. So we're glad he's okay, but yeah, you need some help, dude, right away, right away. So yeah, you don't need to be left alone either, not for a while, because that's just not cool. And you, if you guys are <laughs> interested in things like this, there's that My Strange Addiction show, and yep. it has people that are eating glass or yeah, household you know, cleaners and toilet paper, just things of that <laughs> sort. Um, somebody was eating ashes of a loved one. Uh, Oh, one of come the times on, I saw it. Seriously? It's it's a weird show. It's oh, enough, it, or enough. a strange addiction. I still have to have dinner, dude. Let's hey, stop. we're Let's st- stop. we're part of Let's the same stop. territory. It's weird new stop. strange I know, addiction. I know, I know. So tell me about your since this is our, our our new India segment that you that you claimed India Hour. Talk to us about cows and glowing in the dark. Okay. Well, when you say it like that, it sounds so much more mysterious. Well. I guess that's yeah. the whole point, right? Well, let's, let's weird let's science, exp- baby. Yeah, oh, you're right. Well, and weird news. Excuse me. <laughs> so they um, they stuck orange uh, reflective bands on the horns of 300 cows and bulls to help drivers spot them on the roads and not hit them. It's actually a really good idea, and it's starting to spread around in India, so people won't hurt cows and also you know get into wrecks through it. So so far, this has been the most positive. Thing in our news podcast today. <laughs> weird news podcast. Yeah, no, this I'm is super this. beneficial. We, yeah, I like this. Plus, okay. all right the on. cows get to look like they came from a rave, which right? is probably going to make them look cooler bum, amongst bum, other bum, cows. Bum, 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 bum. Cows are getting down. We were just talking about this? cows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right on. I can do that. That's see, that's being creative. I like that. I think that's cool. Yeah, that would be cool if the cows were in a rave. <laughs> rave how, cows. Yeah. I wonder how they would respond to rave music. That should be a good experiment, actually. With their little cow bands on. They said that they're going to plan to buy permanent radium paint to cover the cow's horns. Um, so the plastic bands, because they only last for a few weeks, this is going to be something oh, that Oh, they just got to be careful. Make sure it doesn't affect the cow. You know, make sure they're not going to get an allergic reaction or that, make sure that stuff's not going to hurt them, you know, when they get that paint. They need to make sure they test that because, you know, you got to be careful with stuff like that. But if, as, long, as long as it doesn't hurt the cows, I'm all for it. I'm all for them painting the horns as long as it doesn't. You know, have any physical side effect? That's good. That's cool. I can dig it. Like, like a super cow, like a radioactive cow with the ability to rave harder than any other farm animal. Well, yeah. I mean, that, that's cool. I mean, it, 
Is that what you'd be worried about? Them kind of like. Well, I don't have a problem with the cow being super, but if a cow's radioactive, I will not be going near it. That's for sure. <laughs> I think a ra- no, yeah, radioactive cow would be terrible for the cow, but and it, that's and even more terrible for the people. <laughs> yeah, no, I can see that too. Yeah. Because cows are already super deadly. No, they really are. <laughs> cows aren't super deadly. Actually, more people were killed by cows than any other animal in America. I need proof of that. In America. You're just talking smack. I'm really not. Talking, I was just told Your name this is today. Jordan Talking Smack Podcaster. <laughs> I need, hey, I need more proof. We don't believe you. You need more people. Okay. To Jay-Z. Well, when we come back, so from you this mean like bulls or cows? Because now bulls are different. Well, the, but they're the, it's just different to the gender. I mean, well, a cow. The bulls species. are more aggressive. So. Yeah. Well, I'm. You know, it's a blanket term. You know, it's more people have died from cows than anything else. Mm, than any yeah, other I animal. Need more proof. I, don't be. Came. Don't be name swapping. Don't be name dropping. Okay. 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 <laughs> when we come back, I'll, I'll bring back uh, you know evidence of that yeah, being a thing. Yeah, sure, you will. Or an apology if I'm sure wrong. You will. We'll find exactly. out. So when we come back, uh, we will finish with the – well, yeah, we'll finish with more stories. We'll talk about the girl who called police. Yeah, Yeah, that's the plan, right? Let's do it. (laughs) Thank you for telling me. I I didn't know. (laughs) I'm I'm glad. I'm a little condescending today, aren't I? Well, you're over there, Mr. Loopy, (laughs) trying to be Mr. Rogers over there. (laughs) When we get back, boys and girls. (laughs) We'll talk about more stuff. <laughs> I think we should strive to be Mr. Rogers more. All right, so we're going to go to commercial break. We'll see you guys real Won't soon. Should be my neighbor. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. Hey! The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Hey everybody, welcome back to GSMC Weird News. <laughs> hey, welcome back. <laughs> yes, welcome back to Golden State Media Concepts Weird News, as George was saying. Yeah. Uh, Weird news is upon us. Yeah. So we, we just talked about a lot of things. Um, <laughs> we had our India hour, and I know you guys want to hear some more about India, but we're going to have to move on from it. We'll come back to India next week probably. Okay. Right now that we've got other things to talk about, like the girl who called 911 after her parents forced her to go on vacation with him. That just didn't make any sense at all. No, it doesn't. The uh, police said that, uh, quoted as saying, this appeared to be a case of a teenager being a teenager because she called them uh, in Ontario. So this actually happened to Canada. Another mm-hmm. Canada story. Another Mississauga story. We had one last week. Yep. We, we, we yes. keep bringing Canada back into it. Yes. We not got love for you, Canada. Not so different, you and us. Well, there you go again. Leave Canada alone. By, by say, comparing them to the U.S.? They're plenty different, but it's all good. But go ahead. Yeah, no, we're, we're the same. So, thing. but although this teen girl, she needs a stern talking to. <laughs> yeah, so she called the uh, police uh, and just asked them really if uh, that hey, my parents are forcing me to go to this vacation. Please stop it. It almost seems like she was doing it as a joke that got out of hand. But she she, she, she was in trouble for that because she should have. She was fifteen years old. They they let her off with a warning. Really? Yeah. Well. A warning. Yeah. I mean, didn't you ever at do anything 15, dumb at 15? Not like that. No. You don't joke with 911, bro. You don't joke with 911. And at 15, I knew right from wrong. And that wasn't, I mean, talk about someone who's, yeah, she needs a stern talking to. That's all I'll say. Well, the thing stern is, stern talking to. She wasn't saying it like it wasn't a joke to her. They said that she perceived this as a real issue. The The threat was real to her. I mean, she thought this was Going a very on vacation valid with use. with your parents is not a threat. 
as I said before, stern talking to. I'm done. I'm dropping the mic on that one. Stern talking to. <laughs> Not cool. Not cool? <laughs> Not cool at all, dude. I think this is funny because I feel like I've seen so many people that are 15 years old that, uh, you know, like little cousins and things along those lines. This this seems like such a believable story, and I'm surprised this is the first time I'm hearing no, it's not, a kid it seems, calling it a cop. It seems so non-believable. It seems it's embarrassing as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> All right. Your medal's in the <laughs> mail. You're a better 15-year-old than this girl, but. Uh, yeah, dude. That's yeah, something you don't do. That's definitely one of them. But that's fine. I mean. Yeah, like I said, the best thing I can say, because I'm not going to say anything else, is stern talking to. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. So, yeah. Because, well, hopefully uh, we'll find somebody that can talk because to Because 911 has other important things they have to do. So, you know, <laughs> so like, like, like life-saving things, just saying. Well, they confirmed that the girl was safe, and then they interviewed all the occupants of the house to confirm that it was just a family vacation. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Things happening in Canada, the the city that never sleeps. Well, that's the country you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, well, the <laughs> the city of Ontario, Canada. Really, it's all just what, what's Canada, though. but not just a big city. Yeah, that was in Mississauga. Yep, good old Canada, just um, <laughs> America's little cousin. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, base, base, that's that's another name they have for it, the city that never sleeps, and. Uh, so, <laughs> What, what I mean, you mean Canada or Mississauga? Canada is a country. So yeah, yeah, I mean, but basically like a city. It's not a city, no. It's What's a Canada? But just it's a us, the cityest country there is. No, not at all. So our next we, story. Yeah, we have other stories. Um, <laughs> Shirtless just, burglars break into school with crocodiles. So doesn't that sound like mind. something like from Florida to you? Like <laughs> yeah, but every it's part in of that story sounds <laughs> like Florida. Yeah, it's actually in Australia. So four just, shirtless men, huh? Even like the fact that crocodiles don't live in North America, because of just how the story sounds, your your brain automatically is forgiving of that fact and just goes, "That's a Florida thing, right?" Just shirtless and reptiles. <laughs> I mean, you would think possibly, yeah. I mean, yeah, because you think of Florida, you think of crocodiles, so that's yeah. true. You know what they say yeah. about Australia, though, right? What Florida's little cousin down under. I don't think they say that, but okay. Well, maybe. <laughs> it sounded good, though. I'll it's, give you that. Uh, good, allegedly, though. a lot of people have so, said you're that. You're over there freestyling. I ain't mad at you. Yeah, it's yeah. all good. Improvising. All right. Yeah, go, go ahead. I'm sorry. Look, it's, it's cool. There, so, there's the whole story we have to talk about. <laughs> so four, shirt, yeah, four shirtless men, uh, <laughs> they break into a school office. And this was uh, at uh, it's Tamman, and, Tamman Men College, a secondary school in Australia in the Northern Territory. So, excuse me, Northern Territory. In a small town called Humpty Doo. <laughs> is that really the name? <laughs> I guess it is, Humpty Doo. The Thought population is bigger than the place that had the mayor dog. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah. So basically, you know, these shirtless men, you know, they were masked. And basically, they, uh, they threw three crocodiles through the smashed office window first before they jumped in. And they were you know, they were rattling around, and they stole an office computer <laughs> from this from this university. So we're all like, "Well, why did they why did they throw in three crocodiles?" <laughs> I mean, yeah, who, no who, one's who, really who able to figure that part out. I think that it was almost like a hazing thing because they just dug through the files uh, yeah. and just had the crocodiles just out there. Yeah, and, and it was five foot long female saltwater crocodiles, also known as salties. So I mean, and, and they're thinking maybe that was to scare away people from coming. You know, this was done at 5 a.m. in the morning in Australia. So, and the only ones that got arrested were the, 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 the crocodiles. I mean, the four shirtless men got away. So, okay, so you're shirtless, but, you're, but your faces are covered. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out that fashion routine. That's a fashion crime right there. <laughs> you know, when we do this show, like, I, I, you realize just how easy it'd be to get away with breaking the law. Because right? you hear the most ridiculous, like... You shouldn't escape that. Like the robbers in the New Jersey thing, uh, yeah. the last episode. Who should have been caught, yeah. Yeah, there, there's no way that looks like you're going to make it like – if they can get away with it, surely we can get away with anything we want, right, Keith? But they say no, crime doesn't pay. But it did just pay for these Australian crocodile-loving – For now, yeah, this is true. 
Yeah, it's yeah. So we are not glorifying doing crime. So stop. No, it. but if we ever go to Australia, I'm going to break so many laws. <laughs> no, I am not. <laughs> People in Australia are listening and like, who's that Jordan guy? We're going to get him. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get that guy. I think they'll be too distracted by your accent of My Australia. Bad Australian <laughs> accent. I know, right? It's exactly. okay. It's okay. I like it. It's it's a work in progress. We're going to exactly, get there. exactly. So the the police. Yeah, I mean, well, excuse me. The parks, the parks and wildlife rangers. They, you know, they were called to the scene and they, they caught the reptiles, the, the crocodiles. And the crocodiles had their, their mouths taped shut and they were malnourished. So, you know, of course, animal specialists are going to take care of them and, and, and probably put them back in the, you know, their own habitat. And they're looking for the men who are responsible, you know, who did this. But I'm like, Okay, so you're using the crocodiles and then you're not feeding them? You guys are just jerks. I mean, <laughs> well, I guess like, now the crocodiles will never be used for evil again. So there's that. Thank to goodness. Look forward I mean, to. Like three lady crocodiles. Just like, really, dude? What's, what's going on with you guys, man? You never steal a lady crocodile. Exactly. And you don't, and you're not feeding them? I mean, so good thing their mouths were. I mean, it's not good that their mouths were taped shut because you, you, you starved them, it looks like. But. And maybe they're taped shut, too, because you don't want them to eat people. I don't know. I don't know what the mentality was of what they did or how. I mean, but. I they seem they like a, just a, a bunch of complicated dudes. But I guess they get an A for originality because that's a new one. No, I mean, this is like some kind of Ferris <laughs> Bueller Animal House prank kind of thing. Uh, I mean. And then that's an interesting way to go. Right? I mean, Yeah. I mean, who throws in crocodiles before you rob a place? <laughs> but it's like a movie that should happen, huh? <laughs> I would really love to see that. I know, right? It's just crazy. But, yeah, that happened in Australia. So, apparently, you know, America, we need to be a little bit more interesting than what we are. It sounds like. <laughs> I, for, you know, I think we do a good job. A lot of our stories come from, you know, this is true, but one lately, of those man, states. Like, no, we, yeah, we've, we've been branching oh, out across the globe yeah, here. We had exactly. Austria. The India Power Hour, <laughs> yeah. which was only 10 minutes. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you know, people are definitely, we're branching out and we're getting some more weirder, crazier news outside of, you know, the good old U.S. of A. So yeah, no, I'm good. glad the rest of the world decided to step up its game and start right. competing nice to know with we're not America. The only weirdos, huh? Yeah. Nice to know we're not the only weirdos. It that's is nice. Up. Yeah, man. So, yeah, so that's what's going on with that. So, yeah, that, that story, yeah, it's still... Still fascinates me. I'm just, yeah, <laughs> I'm still like, wow. And you know, with that story, we just tied a neat little ribbon on this episode. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it happened there was so, so quickly, much more. Right? Okay, wow, okay. And we're going right to have to get to it next week and the week after that. There you go. And the week after that, Keith, we've got okay. so many weeks of things to Weird do. Weird news, man. It's everywhere. Yeah. All, it's hard all to keep up, place. you know? I. I was worried when we first started the show, like, is there going to be weird news every week that's going to, like, be able to fill out the bar? But it is people just weird consistently world, bro, so. do dumb things. So we can always rely on that, can't we? <laughs> we can always rely on that. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Uh. Yeah. I agree, man. I agree. Right on. Well. So what was your favorite thing we talked about today before we wrap it up? Man, you know, I'm thinking my favorite thing still might be the whole... <laughs> the, the shirtless, you know, computer robbers, man. We, we saved the best for last. You think? I think so, man. That was that was great, dude. That was classic. I'm, s- well, yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah. That yeah, that's my favorite. That and the and the Man of Steel, and not in the Superman way. My man addicted to swallowing steel. You know, man, you got too much time in your hands, and you need that psychi- psychiatric help. Right I think it mine is knife swallower as well, yeah, man. and it's also yeah. the car key thief. Uh, that's. Oh, uh, she's not really a thief. She, if she the was band, a the thief, car key yeah, vandal, she would finally vandal. be arrested. But yeah, she's a vandal who needs treatment too. Maybe she needs to meet with the nice swallower dude. I love it. Like uh, you know, when you think about it, she is kind of like a more annoying Banksy. I'm not really familiar for what Banksy so. Yeah, know. just unknown graffiti artist. Yeah, but uh. anyways, yeah, that's that's been our show, folks. It's been a lot of fun doing it. Yep. If you enjoyed us, you can check us out on gsmcpodcast.com. Mm-hmm. But wait, stop. That's not all. We also <laughs> have Facebook, Twitter. That's all. Instagram. Instagram. SoundCloud. Google Play. Stitcher. iTunes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can subscribe to us on iTunes. I was setting you up to finish it. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. yeah you, you picked it up. We did it. So well, without further ado, uh, we will see you guys later on. So have a great day. And as Jordan would say, good night and good luck. Good night and good luck. And as Keith <laughs> would say, we'll see you out there somewhere in space. <laughs> yep. Yeah, bye. Bye.